Hello, I'm Intralissim, and welcome back to XCOM. And it, uh, yeah. XCOM needs you. <laughs> I keep wanting to say enemy within. Oh dear. Which is true, but it's also more long war. Anyway, we have a crashed UFO we need to go to. Now, we are very much getting the very last of our guys available. There is going to be pretty much no one left in the roster after this. Noob Hater is a snapshotting sniper rifle wielder. Captain Cave Devil, who's a paramedic, commanding with a single smoke grenade. Dominic Nolt as our specialist scout. By the way, carapace, alloy plating, 12 health. It's the way to go. You can tell we're getting low, 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 low in the roster when we're getting QQQ on board. I'm sorry, QQQ, but you have awful stats, especially for insult. So, with QQQ on board, 8 health, still 11 move. Ugh. Lit Geek. For firepower, we're really relying here on, uh, you know, 10 move, by the way. 10 move. Isaac Bromley. Now, Isaac Bromley's going to be pretty decent. However, 74 is a little bit low for aim to be relying on. But the 14 move is always nice. And our two rookies today. Quen. Quen is pretty much about to level up. Quen is equipped with a Shatterade to make sure we can get the Chem Grenade and the Alien Grenade on target. And Chris Trot, who is also about to level up. And comes with 73 base aim. Ooh. It's got alloy plating and phallic armor to make sure we protect that. Scope and a laser carbine to get 98 aim. Quen is gonna, uh, Chris is going to be in charge of basically killing anything that, you know, needs killing. Has uh, got a little bit low on health and we need the right unit to disappear. Boom. That's the job, Chris. Like I say, very low in the roster. And we're back in the United States, as per usual. Considering that all of our stuff is based in the United Prepare States. And our base is in the, well, alien-held continent, pretty much, apart from England. Uh, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, and Ireland. I should just say the British Isles. That would be quicker. I wonder if they have the Channel Islands. Anyway, uh, yeah. The, uh, the aliens. Get ready oh, to deploy. Barn. I haven't seen this one this campaign, have I? States. Huh. It looks like we, got we have no explosives. The alien crash site is in a remote area. We only have Away one heat. It's not going to be the best. But yeah, considering that our home exact. continent is basically taken by aliens, and our, our base is like literally besieged by aliens, all the countries around us are taken by aliens. We're on the continent. It's a little bit uh, interesting. But we're going to a barn in the United States. We have, unfortunately, very little... No, very little explosives, actually. I was about to say no, but no, we actually have one or two alien grenades, but... No, uh, no engineer to throw them really far. No engineer to give them more damage. No engineer to pack tons of them. This is a fairly large map. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Now, pod, the UFO's down there, obviously. And there can be pods here, etc. I dislike going in from this direction at the uh, UFO, though, because it can be pretty damn tough. So unless we have, you know, something like meld. I can't see any meld. Then I'm going to push up this way. Rolling. On my way. I'm rolling. See, that's QQQ and assault moving. Ugh. Ew, ew, ew. Bad. I'm going to push up this way. See if there's a pod over there. Push down into the uh, the bit where it's basically sort of slid through the moving entire field. Position. And then we'll just assault the UFO. Aye, aye, Gonna try and make this a good, clean, quick mission. Might end up with Snapshot Nude Hater up the top of here, getting some easy shots. Or at least, you know, that's, that's what I'm hoping Roger, for. Dodger. No meld inside the barn, which is a shame. I like it when the meld's inside the barn. It's nice and easy Moving to get. And let's start moving people up who need to be moved up. I mean, for instance, Lit Geek not doing as much Moving at the back. Up. Kind of needs to be in the uh, range of that heavy rifle. I mean, when, you know, Lick Geek is in range, people die, but getting in range is a problem, especially when, what, Lick Geek's got 10 move in this one? Yeah. Mutant, okay. So it's not going to be like a cakewalk. Okay. Although that said, I would like a cakewalk. Mmm. Cake. Not least because of the cake. I like cake. Copy that. Quen is kind of a crappy grenadier. The movement is what we're relying on to get in range, not the actual throwing ability. Dominic Nolt is a better assault than uh, QQQ. It's all weird, this squad. Aye, aye, 
At least we have a reasonable sniper. Moving out. Headed there now. Okay, so enemies down there. I don't think we're alone out here. Ooh, that sounds really close. Okay, Quen. I'm all over it. Huh. I was expecting contact. There can still be a pod down here. That's affirmative. That's affirmative. Moving to position. It's one of these it's quiet, too quiet like situations, but I don't say it because, you know, aye, someone always ends up getting shot to prove that it's not that quiet. Heading to that location. And I'm not a fan of getting shot personally. Paul it's overrated. Yes. yes, Commander. Might trigger with this. No trigger, okay. Now, where are the enemy? Don't know, but there's meld over here. Is that the meld there? I can't tell. We'll head that way. I would like meld. Our policy of really going for the meld in the last few missions has really paid off, actually. We're a lot better off for meld than we, uh, we were going to be. I didn't expect to be quite so well off in terms of meld. Okay, they're all in cover. But I have a grenade. Oh well. Mutant needs to die pretty soon. Throwing grenade. If Mutant can die turn one, I'd be pleased. Unfortunately, the floaters cover still intact. Mutant should be fairly easy to kill. <sighs> can anyone actually get into a position to shoot? Isaac can, because Isaac's amazing. Okay, Isaac. On my way. That's not a mutant. Oh dear. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? The mutant's going to live. Moving. Well, at least we can flashbang it. I really want to save that for the outsider. I'm rolling. Well, stop rolling. rolling it's distracting. Please don't grenade us, Mr. Mutant. Um, I could risk triggering in this way. I don't think there's a pod here. I probably would have seen or heard it. But I don't want to... Like, it gets annoying when you're at the stage where you could end up triggering a pod with your assault. And your assault wouldn't be able to do anything about it because your assault doesn't have enough move. That's just Moving to frustrating. Position. Okay. That's affirmative. So ninety-eight. I could shoot you. I could suppress you. I'm probably going to go for suppression. Copy that. And then everyone else gets Overwatch. Okay. Our oh, sector is about here. He's going to run away. Good. I didn't want to invite him towards me. It was unlikely. But if he did, I'd be basically dead. Overwatch. And he's going to be dead to us. He's going to be dead. Oh, he's so pressed. That's fine. He's going to be dead to a... Sh I was going to say shotgun, no sniper. Because we have the technology. Lightning reflexes. That was. That actually made me afraid because it hit something, but it hit the edge of the barn, so it's fine. Really? Okay, fine. I guess it is at range. And range was never your specialty. Okay, what can we hit? Eh, kill the mutant. 
Oh, miss. Licky, come on. We raised you from the dead for this. I could move to here, but we risk triggering behind us, and that's something I really don't want to do. Okay. Well, that's a promotion. Yep. Eighty-three percent chance to. Yeah, nice. Breaks the mind. Down to one health. Very respectable. Unfortunately, our assault's all the way at the back because, well, our assault kind of sucks. Yes, sir. No offense, QQQ, but your stats are dreadful. Yes, okay. Now, technically, Dominique is uh, actually flanked, so we'll move to there. And we'll overwatch. They're falling back. Hmm. Well, let's go hunt the meld. I wish I'd triggered it the other way around. Like, this guy's going to miss anyway because he's got one health. Red fog means that he's pretty unlikely to hit me. Unfortunately, the floater, on the other hand, has full health. Still missed, though. Good. Fire in this zone. Okay, that's the meld. Lit geek. Really not the shots that I'm expecting. I'm expecting, like, you know, some really impressive stuff, but in the end I'm getting kind of nothing. It's very disappointing. Well, this is definitely going to be the end for this group. Hey, Chris, who can you kill? Because, well, I want you to get experience. X-ray down. Aye, aye, Commander. Visual on the goods. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, Dominic, you're probably dead. I, I kind of gave an up on there being a pod here. I kind of went, oh, there won't be a pod here, it's fine. We'd have heard of them by now. Nope. They were just waiting. I'm on the move. One lit geek. Put this guy to bed. Time. Thank you. We've got bigger fish to fry. I wish I had a disabling shot. My god, I wish I had a disabling shot. We can't get a smoke grenade all the way up there. I'm, I'm afraid he's probably very dead. Let's do this. Okay. That's what I get for being a bit too impatient to do with Meld. A heal? Okay. Still, it got rid of the drone, for now. It's ignoring Dominic. Just don't shoot our gunner. He's in half cover. It could very well be a kill. Yes, a hit as well. I did not expect that. Five health left. Overwatch. Go for a grab. Go for a grab. Go on. Or shoot me point blank. Okay, he's overwatching. 81. Come on, hit. Yes! Get some! Get some! We got a lucky there. On the 
Bye bye, Squiddy. Still can't quite reach that. Here. Tracking. Good to go. That's affirmative. Let's do this. I don't think I think it's gonna pop. I think Got I can it. hear it. Moving out. Roger. I've got my eyes on. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Come on, there we go. Yes. Solid copy. Ours. Got the goods. Seven mil. Alright, so what we do is we push to here, then we push all the way down. It's probably it for pods. Cyberdisk is kind of a lot. Aye, aye, Commander. In terms of points worth of stuff in a uh, in a crashed scout UFO, having the first pod, which included the mutant, and the okay. second pod, which included a cyber disk, they're pretty much out of their point limit. Moving out. Moving to position. I'm on the move. Yep, I know. Can we go back to the people I want to move, please? Thank you. Headed there now. <sighs> Cave Devil, I uh, we'll guess we'll sprint you. No harm. Alright, give me an idea where the next alien is, please. Nope. Okay. Fine. If you don't want me to fight aliens, I'm on it, could have just said so. Now there is a chunk up here that I haven't explored, and I probably should. Okay. Explored. Done. Okay, we can move in. Heading there now. Okay, so Isaac Bromley is going to be one part of our very uh, important Double and powerful time. fist. He's basically a lot of our firepower. The other part is, of course, a Lick Geek, who, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to be particularly that good anymore. Yes, Mainly because of the movement thing. He's just never in the right place. Heading out. It's such a big difference that 12 to 10 move does. Like, 10 move, he's never in the right place. 12 move, it's acceptable. You need to make sure you've got people in the right place, but it's acceptable. Okay. I'm ready. Scanning. All right, so the outsider. What's making that noise? Outsider. Seriously, I just said it. Ten four. Get ahead in the game. Didn't quite expect to be triggering him now. There is a door in the way, right? I'm rolling. Yeah. Apparently the door doesn't matter. Okay, QQQ. Can you actually do a shock anything? No, you cannot. Okay, for now, move to here. What I'm going to probably do is go for suppression. Running. Yeah, suppression seems like a great idea. Dominic, if you wouldn't mind joining us. On target location. Come on, suppression. Suppressing fire! Suppressing fire! Ooh, I forgot about you, Cave Devil. Um... I'll be completely honest, there is no way for you. Moving. And just hunk it down. Got right, he's got Overwatch Opportunist on, so if I suppress, he'll trigger. Where is my scout? Hello! On the move. 
We are sprinting, so we should be able to dodge. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Didn't hit me. And this is why I like having a maneuverable gunner. Hello. Now I don't actually want to get the uh, I don't want to actually get the kill of QQQ, and QQQ probably will be uh, moving in here. So let's move QQQ in and take the shot first. Because I don't want QQQ to get the kill. Now QQQ is a low level, but I won't be using QQQ very much. Whereas, who do I want to get the kill? Ah, Isaac, you can get it. It's fine. I'd like you to go up a level. You're pretty useful. Hey, kills! Unfortunate Cyberdisk incident. I was a little bit eager. That meld made me a little bit eager. We survived. Only two points of armor damage, which means that we get the full bonus to XP for not getting Excellent actual health work, damage. Commander. I'm impressed you were able to recover so much of the meld substance without any casualties. Close combat specialist. Weapons. Um... No, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have one more Rocketeer. Noob Hater? Aha! Oh! Ooh, ooh, cool. ooh, ooh. Difficult choice. Difficult choice now. Now, Vita Point targeting is pretty good. I mean, I know a lot of people go for Lock and Load, right? Bring them on. Uh, as well as some damage on critical hits. Unless you go, like, full on aggression. Which we have done. Meh. I mean, it's good combined with uh, In the Zone, right? Because In the Zone allows you to take basically a free shot. It doesn't count as an action, provided the enemy is exposed or flanked. And if they're exposed or flanked, you like to get crits. So if you've got aggression as well, you really like to get crits. And this will give you plus damage for those crits, which means that you'll do crazy damage on crits. However, you also need to finish the enemy off. They need to die in the zone. And I'm kind of thinking that, eh, I'm not as much a fan of the bring them on. Lock and load allows you to keep firing. In the zone works really well because you can keep firing. You can, in theory, get eight shots or something. Maybe more. I think this is five shots in a rifle, so you can get ten shots or something. Mm. Vital points targeting. Plus two damage with primary guns. Against anything you've autopsied, which means, you know, kind of a lot. And that's really quite nice. Um, we've got range already, so this is like plus three damage if we got both of them. Fighter points targeting is really tempting. I know I shouldn't. Lock and load allows me to keep firing. And that's what I'm coming down to at the end of the day. Lock and load does allow me to just keep firing, keep, you know, bullets down range in effect. And it works really well with the recoilless rifle. Not the recoilless rifle. What's it called? Um, the gore sniper rifle. Because it's only got one, uh, one bullet in the clip. I'm going to go lock and load. I know I love the extra two damage from vital points targeting, but lock and load is. It's 92 aim. That's nice. Chris Trot Support. Not with that aim. No. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Gonna random. Please don't be shit. God damn it. Fine. Chris, you're gonna be some very, very weird hybrid. Probably gonna run you around with a uh, heavy uh, laser rifle of some kind. 20 alien alloy. Yeah. Not bad. You can sell that as well. Where is that grey market? There we go. Okay. Ooh, I should do a scan for exalt. Are we? Yeah. See, I told you about like not having many guys left. Yeah, agent hucking. Right. Let's go and do a scan. Situation room. Um, Cope Operations, Intel Scan. Intel Scan complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. 
Brazil. Brazil, what have you been doing? You Brazilian bastards in exalt. How dare you. How dare you. Oh, God damn it. Um, Agent Hucking, have you kept the stuff? Yeah. Heater, alloy plating, battle scanner. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Brazil. No, I want my laser rifles. Bugger off. Contact detected. Um, how long till my intercepts are available? Eight hours and two days. I also don't think I'll be taking that one out. Because, ultimately, this is only just a normal scout craft, right? It's just doing a research mission. It's not trying to shoot down a satellite. It really pains me to see an alien craft get away like that. Three days till cybernetic augmentation are done, though. That's nice. Two days till alien... Oh, that's what we're saving up money for, which we haven't really saved up. Is uh, we need to build a... Thermal generator? Not a thermal generator. Another generator thingy here. It'll be uh, whatever the alien one is. Commander, the council isn't going to be happy about this. We need to protect our satellites. Our Very large Napier Earth. Okay, that's a battleship. Please just be not ripping a country out from under my grasp, because if you do, I will be pissed. I can't take the Phoenix call up against a battleship. It was coming to trigger a terror mission. That's so much better than it could have been. I am actually pleased about that one. Now, the downside is, of course, we have a terror mission back-to-back -back with a covert op. How many days till the covert op? Four days, actually. We could technically go to this uh, terror mission and get on the covert op as well if we get the fatigue reduction. Yeah. Okay, so nowhere near as bad as I thought. Nowhere near. We've got a terror mission to go through in Toronto. We'll go. We'll kick some ass. And we'll be back for breakfast. And by breakfast, I mean a covert op. But you get what I mean. Anyway, I mean, I really see him. If you enjoyed today's episode and me surviving a dangerous, dangerous cyber disc, then, you know, like the episode. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more of me surviving or getting killed by a dangerous, dangerous cyber disc, then consider subscribing. But until next time, and when we go to resolve a dispute between some local aliens and some Toronto citizens, Torontians? Torontonites? Can someone let me know what that is in the comments? Stay shiny.